In this video, I will show you how to add the download as a CSV button in PHP. So for example, we can check the code here, check the web page here. So I have a web page, I have a report csv.php. For example, I can edit its action, get from an another form and post. How the form database we post, we have type activity, produce a table. Uh, produce this kind of report. Now I try to add the button called download CSV. Try to get produce this table as a CSV file. And this is the this is the static uh, static is the fixed number activity, but this is a dynamic number. So okay, let's check the code. So in the check code report. CSV the PHP. So we have a table here, as we mentioned here, table, and we have a title this activity, and we have a colon here. The colon have a value. Normally, you can this is from the post data. For example, this is the count base skills from the post count one. This post count, but in this example. I just simplify, I just put a number one and two and produce a table. Then I will create a form here because I try to produce a download as a CSV file. So I need to post as a form. So I put a form with an action. This action is the report CSV to PHP. When I create a button, submit button, input submit button here, download as CSV, I put an input button. If we go through this action, we post CSV, produce a CSV download button. I also need to, this is a fix, I just directly put a CSV, but I need to put a dynamic value here, for example, count base skills and count hours, this, these two variables into four. But I try to put in a hidden value and put a name here, I want to post this one. I can transfer this dynamic value to this report csv8.php. So let's check this file. So in, in the report csv8.php, so this uh, for C produce a csv file. So header, we need to put this header. So the application, I try to put the Excel here. And the file name, I can put it here, activity log csv. And uh, this post section is put as attachment. And I put header here. XYZ or cache to control these things must be. That means we don't want to put in a cache. So whenever I the page is updated, there should be a new file. Now I put the different array header. This is the table. It's a header here. And I put the row one. One is the first column is basically your second is a post value here. So this is echo improve I had to just put the uh, this echo list according to common here. This is then CSV we produce the columns based on the common here. So this uh, means that this is the first row in the in the uh, CSV file, this is the second row here. Put his, this one. So let's test this code. So let's run this one. So we are table, we are download button. We create a download CSV file. You you can see that we have a dialog here. You can open, you can save. So in summary, Uh, in summary, we have used a uh, button to create download as a CSV file. So we put a button here and put a hidden input here. And we have a CSV, another action is a CSV A file. This is the user header and produce the download CSV file since we're watching.